So the map quest might feel it's more important to tell us where we're going. Turn left onto Survivor Street. So we are heading to my son's first cross country meet. My oldest was in cross country uh, two years ago. Uh, did not love it. And my second son is not about it. But he started it and he's going to finish it. And that's what I'm about. I am really lucky that I work a job where I work nights. So it allows me to go to my kids' stuff like this. Sometimes I'm a zombie, but it still allows me to be present um, as much as possible. The next one is about 45 minutes away, so I probably won't do that one because I have to be home in time to get my little guys home from school. So, you know, I'll do the best that I can. At one point, I used to be the mom that, like, I couldn't miss anything. I had to be at everything. And I just realized with five kids, there's no way you can be everywhere all the time. Um, it's exhausting and it shows them a little bit about independence and self pride and also how they can come home and tell me about something that happened with their day. I do try to be at as many of their things as humanly possible. So I am a homebody, so I, rather not have to put makeup on and go out into the world but sometimes it's nice to guess I did get up at the butt crack of dawn for me I slept like crap last night the man went to a sleep study so he wasn't home and um, so I just felt kind of weird not having him around but yeah that's what we're off to Aslan and I are off to go watch this boy run and um, I have some editing. Miles. Turn left onto South State Street. I have some editing to do later on today. We filmed a really funny video last night. I used some of the Wet n Wild products on my love, and it was it was terrible, but it was just fun to do. And I appreciate that he embraced it and just let me sit there and rub crap all over his face. So we are on our way. That's what we're doing. You know, a regular day. two dinners, a little bit of snack food, and it was like $150 later. And now it's time to pick up children. So we get the little ones first. I'll have enough time to run over to Walgreens because I forgot toilet paper. And you know when they get home, they all want to poo. And then we got to get Ryan and Riley because there's no practice today. Then we'll have an 
hour break um, of car, which means an hour before dance class. Dance goes four to six, and I have to be at work at seven. And this is Monday. This is just Monday. William, one day of the week, there, there's no dance. So, Thursdays is always one of my favorite days. Hi, Troy. Hi. How was your day? Good. Good. Okay, this and we is went to the meet today. Aslan and I walked up this giant hill, and she collected pine goats. So buckle up and let's go to Walgreens and get some toilet paper. Yay! Well, I just dropped my girl off at dance. And I'm always with Aslan. But when I talk about May, I feel a certain kind of way. I sometimes wonder, because her and I are so much alike. She's so special. She's so thoughtful. She's so smart. She's so talented. And I wonder if I had grown up with, this is gonna sound like I'm full of myself, but if I had grown up with a mom like me, you know, like I wonder how she's gonna turn out because she's just so incredible. And not to say that I'm not okay, but I feel like Milani could be anything. And I know people feel certain ways about their kids, but I am really realistic. Um, Ryan is my oldest, and he's so damn cocky, and he knows everything, and we are like, we're so connected, we get each other, but no one drives me more bonkers than Ryan and his stubborn attitude and the thought like he always thinks he's right will be, it will be a problem for him as an adult it will keep him from learning things riley is strange <laughs> riley's my odd duck he was at his track meet today and he had his wife beater on backwards like the kid just learned how to tie his shoes. He's in sixth grade. And he just wouldn't tie his shoes. And he kind of acts like he gives no Fs. He's dark. Um, so I worry about him. He would be the type to join the military just to blow people up. Not saying I think my kid's gonna be that next kid, but you know, I'm constantly trying to encourage the good things in life with him and my Troy boy is the sweetest boy on the planet he will grow up and be quite handsome but he's not really smart and I don't mean like he learns things in school he struggles he's uh, on the lower end of the scale he always has been but he's the sweetest human on the planet and um, I think he'll be fine because he's so clueless of the world around him that I don't know that the world like I think he'll hurt but I think he'll be one of those people that's very content with life like if he has a job and some friends he'll be good and Aslan is hard to say because she's a little bit of all of them but Melani is a go-getter. She is, she's just gonna be an incredible woman. And like I said, I, I'm curious to see how she turns out. I mean, I'm curious about all of them. I worry about all of them, but May, it's like, oh, what are you gonna become? The other ones, I'm like, oh God, be careful, you know? But I kind of wonder if I had had an upbringing like my daughter how I would have turned out I think things would have been a lot different because um, my life was uh, it was hard it was really hard we we um, we lived in some sketchy places I lived with every family member every family member when my mom was out on her run so just you know interesting and 
She makes me feel a certain kind of way. Now it's time to do dinner and homework. And I gotta go to work soon. I do not wanna go, but I want money, so I go. I had every intention of taking a nap, and now it's time to go to work. No nap, same makeup, threw an iron over the shirt, and I'm worried about my cat because her kittens are moving around in her tummy. I have not had a cat in my adult life be pregnant because I fixed all of them. But this cat was astray and showed up at my house and was probably pregnant when she showed up at my house. So I'm really worried about her. Her little babies are moving around and I feel some kind of way like the way that you feel if it was your, your child having a baby, like I worry about her pain. I'm sure her pain tolerance is much higher than a human. But yeah, uh, I need to pep myself up and be ready for work. I, you can't have an off day. You can't be like, because mm. if you're like that, that means no tips. Nobody's gonna tip somebody that's an asshole, unless that's what they like, you know? It's strange. So, the end of my day, I was up at 5.30 in the morning and I'll get home around four o'clock in the morning. 24 hours. But, I'm off tomorrow night. And then I go back in Wednesday. So, it's, you know, I don't have to do it every single day. But this is one of the reasons why I can't handle working full time right now. People always ask me, you know, because you get benefits and, and there's some perks to it. But I just, it would kill me. It would kill me because I can't sleep during the day. He's got to go to work. And what are you going to do? Barricade the baby in? That's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, uh, end of vlog number three. It was more true to my real life on the daily. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.